we're in the Cathedral of St. John the Divine, uh, which is up on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And Julie and I are getting married here. My parents started dragging me here when I was about two years old. When it almost burnt down in, in 2001, I was actually interviewed by the local uh, news station <laughs> and um, they asked me why it was so important. I remember saying that I had been baptized, I was confirmed, and that someday if I had a choice I might get married very here. Nice. I grew up going to Serbian Orthodox Church and there the incense and the sound were very important. Here it's very similar, so for me it was a little bit coming home and realizing that I was with this new person having this experience that I had as a child and was rediscovering with him. <laughs> Paul and I initially met in high school. We both went to Chotworth Rosemary Hall. Eventually we reconnected back in Brooklyn. A friend of hers from grad school had actually moved into our apartment as a, as a temporary roommate. They often had parties and my friend Aaron, who was his roommate, uh, became part of those parties and would invite us. So there was a night of the skating party called Skating Under the Stars. And it so happens that I'm a really horrible skater. And I just found it totally endearing and disarming that he was willing to look so goofy so in front of me. So I remember I had this moment, I was skating behind him and I thought, oh my God, that's him. It's gonna, I, I'm gonna be with him. The other one. So at the end of the night, I um, kind of I thought I'd summon up the courage and, and I think I said, would you like to go to dinner? So we should go. Dinner Our first date was really, uh, was really great. It was one of those marathon first dates. We just talked and talked and talked and, and then... Do you remember uh, what we talked about? our families. Well, we have really similar backgrounds, which I never thought would be important to me, but it really, it feels like being home. It's really nice. We ended up kissing on, on the yep. side of the street. Yep. And uh, I think afterwards, you may not remember this, but I, I said, have you ever, and you cut me off, and yep. you said, no. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Paul had uh, tickets to go see barge music in Brooklyn Heights, and I think it was probably only 6 or 6.30, and the concert wasn't until 8. So I said, well, let's walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. I also hadn't been outside, and the Brooklyn Bridge is my favorite thing in New York. Um, and little did I know that Paul had a ring in his pocket and was trying to figure out when he was going to propose to me. I wanted to wait until the Brooklyn side of the bridge, because that's where we'd gotten to know each other. So when we got to the Brooklyn sort of tower, um, I, I had the ring, and I, I think I said something like, I've, I've never been so happy, yep. uh, which was true. And, I, and then I think you... And then I said, I, I know. And then you, I think you said, and I always want to be this happy, and I said, me too. And he said, well, then we should do something about it. I pulled out the ring with my white knuckle tip. And <laughs> he I wouldn't let it go. He was kind of holding it really it. tight. Um, and then we walked towards the middle of the bridge, and... He put it on my finger, and we, I, we were both crying and laughing and hugging. It was such, it was a total surprise, and just like, it couldn't have been a better place. It was perfect. <laughs>